Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well. Here in Oman and I guess all over the Middle East is a beautiful climate and the weather is so cozy and relaxing. We did get good rain here though there were a few traffic blocks here and there. Anyway, I hope all are safe and sound and enjoying the lovely weather in the Gulf. Kids had a couple of days holiday from school and even my husband had a day leave as it was declared a public holiday for one day. Although he was working from home and not completely off from work that day. Cooking something special always excites me when all are at home. Had some squid in the freezer so I did want to prepare something different rather than the usual squid roast which of course is very tasty. Thought of making a biryani using squid. I was a bit confused whether it would come out great like any seafood biryani which I am a fan of and this is a must try meal. It's packed with flavors and delicious. I and my whole family enjoyed it to the core. That's how I sharpen my knife before any preparation. It's so irritating to use a blunt knife, especially for chopping or slicing onions and tomatoes. Here I used around 3 large onions and fried them in a mixture of oil and ghee. Fry till golden brown. I did it in two parts. In the first added just the curry leaves. For the second part, I fried cashews as well. I didn't have raisins at that time with me. If you have, do add some. The second part is mainly used for garnish, so that's the reason why I added cashews along with it. I crushed a few ingredients that included 10 shallots, a garlic bulb, a medium sized ginger and 5-6 to green chilies. Chilies depends on the spice level, you may add more or less. Once the onion is fried, keep aside the oil ghee mix, you will need it later. Into the pot of boiling water, I added salt, some whole spices, bay leaves, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves and mace. Then goes in the basmati rice that had been washed and soaking for almost 30 minutes. Drain and add. I have used around 4 medium to small size tomatoes here. Rice is almost done, drain and keep aside. I had to clean my stove as the rice water got spilled. If I continue this way till the end and wait for my cooking to be over for cleaning, the stain will be a bit tough to clean. So it's easy on the go.
foot can catch at the bottom of a clay pot if you're not careful. I love the flavor of clay pot, so that's why I'm using it. If you aren't confident enough, do use any other like steel or non-stick. Add some of the oil ghee mix and saute the crushed ingredients till the raw smell goes. Then goes in half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder, and around a teaspoon of black pepper powder. Mix well and saute the spice powders for a minute. Then add tomatoes and coriander leaves. Add two handfuls of the fried onions. Mix well. Add one to one and a half cups of curd. Mix all together. That's salt. Add a few mint leaves, which is optional. Let the tomatoes go soft. Cover and cook. Here I'm squeezing the juice of one lemon. Add the lemon juice and a bit more of chopped coriander leaves. Time to add squid, that's one kilo. Mix well and turn off the flame. This will be cooked later. Layer the rice on top. Make it in two parts. After adding the first part, Add 2 or 3 tablespoons of the oil ghee mix, sprinkle some fried onion and cashews, then some coriander leaves, some garam masala powder. Now add the remaining rice and again repeat on top. Place it on high flame for a minute or two, then reduce the flame to low and let the steam come through. Now time to serve this amazingly delicious biryani. I didn't mix it all over, I separated the rice from the squid masala. The rice itself was very flavorful. The steam has completely induced into the greens and you can see the color of the rice. Time to serve. I did promise Rehan the previous day that I would be preparing some dessert the next day but I forgot at some point. This is a very simple pudding that was trending over Instagram, a very easy thing to make. Here I used 500ml fresh milk, mixed ready made cream caramel powder that you get it from the store. It comes with the sugar syrup in a sachet, you don't have to use it. Use a tray and layer the bread slices. I made it in a very small quantity, so I used a small dish. After one layer, pour the cream caramel milk. 
and let the bread soak in it. Then repeat. Gently press at the top. Let this cool down and it will get set. I had added whipped cream on top for which I completely forgot to take a video. And then I placed it in the fridge for chilling. We had an early dinner that day as kids wanted to have biryani again soon. So thought to serve dinner early than usual. And here's the pudding. Let me be honest with you all. My family enjoyed this pudding, but I wasn't very impressed with it. I don't know why I found it a bit flavorless. As it is a very easy pudding, do give it a try and I'm sure your kids will like it. I was in a mood to finish the wall mirror decor. I was waiting to get the double sided tape from a stationery nearby and as soon as I got it, I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to finish setting up our apartment as early as possible. My health is not the same every day and I get tired easily these days. So that's the reason I want to do anything that's incomplete really soon. So that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Do give a try on the biryani I've shown and I would love to hear from you all. See you in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.